Hello YouTubers, this is Jody Young at Primary Basin Diesel. I uh, disassembled a unit fuel injector for a D-Deck 4 Detroit Diesel Series 60. This is a N2 injector. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen one disassembled before, but this is it. All scattered in pieces. It's got a 12 volt solenoid that mounts on top of the injector body. It takes uh, 6 amps. I mean, 6 volts, 10 amps to fire the injector solenoid. It pulls up against this little magnetic base right here on this plunger, which actually allows the fuel to go through the body, on down through into here. And, uh, to, and it, what it does is it you have a pulse width, and based on that pulse width on the engine time, it determines how, much, how long that injector solenoid is going to be on and off. And we have the big spring mounts up here on top of this. And we have our, our plunger right here. It goes down inside of here. You know, about like so. And uh, one of the problems that this right here is part number on this injector here is a 5695. Uh, one of the things that we've seen in truck applications and everything else that down here at the bottom of this, you got this little plate right here. It has three screws. Well, and you got these little bitty screws that are right here. We got three of them. Well, we've seen these little screws right here will actually break down here at the bottom of this injector and it'll wind up putting fuel in the oil. And uh, also had problems with these little O-rings on the solenoid leaking also where it put fuel in the oil. Because this right here sits up against here. And of course, this right here would be up inside of here. And all this stuff mounts right over here. It's bolted down by four screws. It also has a injector holding tab that holds the plunger in place. This is just a shipping tab is all it is. It bolts up through here. I can't really do it with one hand, but it bolts up in an air. It's just like that. It holds this plunger in place. And all it is just a hold that plunger in place just a shipping tab because whenever the engine's running it never comes in contact with that and we have our barrel look down in there and the way these engines are rigged up our fuel comes in at the bottom and see the little screen our turn is up on top there's the bottom of it and then we actually look at the little nozzle itself and then you got your needle valve that goes inside there and you got all the other little parts and pieces that goes in there. We got another spring. We got two pieces here. Top of my head, I can't remember the name of all these pieces because we never disassembled these before. But uh, what I'll do is I'll throw it together real quick and show you a picture of it together. I'm going to go ahead back to our assembly process. Uh, this is a little piece I was telling you about that pulls up against the magnetic solenoid. See if you can hear this click. It just barely even moves and then we got our spacer which goes in up here and of course it's not sitting on the o-ring that sits there like that our solenoid which is right here it goes on here like like so and our bolts with the shipping thing it goes come on baby like so you can't really tighten it up with one hand i gotta put one of these back ones in get it started It's basically all they want anyway, just kind of put it together. Grab another bolt, stick it in over here. And then the injector spring, it goes up there. And you have your body plunger that goes down in the body. Get that baby to warm up and go in there. See the shipping tank like I was talking to you about? All of those keeps it coming out during the 
the shipping because whenever it's tied it's not going to come up past that and I'll put the other pieces together okay I reassembled the injector and like I was talking about that's just a shipping tang it doesn't come up or anything you know that it can go in but it won't come out it's just a shipping tang is all that is it doesn't contact that whenever it's on the upstroke and when it's all the way up to the top you got the bottom of it and this is that little plate down here this little small one right here I was talking to you about right here it goes up in here with three little screws that has a tendency to break off and leak fuel in the oil let me uh, tighten that up well for let me pull it off first see if you can look up in there see what I'm talking about you got a little o-ring seal down in here goes up against the bottom of that you got fuel that comes up through here and flows through there There's, see the port valve the holes you know and you can't see it it's this one right here there's a big hole right here okay let me put that together okay got the little plate on it's installed top of the injector is installed you can put the little tag on there with the part number on it plungers in there and the best way to put one of these back together you got to stack all these parts this piece here's got to go down this piece okay where was we at oh yeah you got to stack all these parts you have to take this little piece that spring and it goes right there we got this little piece that goes right here and it goes right there we got a little piece see what's hollow inside there it sits right up on top there like that and our needle it's got to go inside of the nozzle assembly get it in there like that turn it around we gotta put it right in there like that and of course the camera went on zoom for no reason at all let me zoom back out okay that's what we got now let's take our body just nice and clean take it set it right up on top all of our pieces are in there our needle sticking out and all we do is just screw this back to the body you know, I don't think it's going to allow me to do it because all my pieces are going crazy. Let's try it anyway. Come on, man. There we go. Well. Okay, well, give me a minute, I'll reposition it in the vise. Okay, let's try it again. There's my injector. There's my piece of my body, the lower end. Let's screw that up in there. There we go. Okay, just pull that out like that. Now we have a completed electronic unit injector and uh, for Series 60. But that's a reinstallation video teardown of what the fuel components look like. And it's, I don't recommend rebuilding these at all because. I mean, you got to be in a real clean environment, and we're talking with uh, real, real tiny machine parts that just a little slide of dust can lock it on down. So we're dealing with very precision parts, and it's got to be in a real clean environment when you do this stuff. So don't tear one down in the shop and see what it looks like. So just exchange it for a reliable. 
and be done with it. You'll have a one-year warranty on a reliable fuel injector. And if you rebuild one of these, you got to have all kinds of parts and pieces and bench tests. Make sure it works right and everything else. You're better off just exchanging it for a reliable. So that's it for now. And thank you for thank you for watching, and God bless.